this, then this speech would have no value because the value is going to be transmitted through the information and the entertainment. As Mises said, value is not intrinsic. It is not in things. It is within us. He said that in human action. Now, have you ever asked yourself, what is even expensive? Or what is this inflation that my parents keep complaining about? By the way, they probably don't know either. So let me explain that to you. But first, how did I get into all this? Well, when I was 14, I used to be obsessed with Austrian economics. And it gave me an absolute unfair advantage over everyone else around me in every single area of life. So I want to give that to you by talking about the main name in Austrian in the Austrian School of Economics, which is Ludwig von Mises. Now, he grew up in, he was born in modern day Ukraine, in the past Austria-Hungary from Jewish parents, and then later became a professor at, at Geneva in Switzerland. Now, in case you guys don't know, in 1940, there was something happening in Europe which wasn't very friendly towards descendants of Jewish parents. So he immigrated to America, became a visiting professor at NYU for 24 years, which is a pretty long visit if you ask me. Now, the, what we're gonna talk about this is his background, where he came from, which is the subjective theory of value by Carl Minger, and then what he developed from that. So the subjective theory of value says that value is just perceived. It is up to the individual. The information is decentralized, therefore there's no one single entity that can talk about it. It is all in within us and what we think about it. Now, this is, uh, by the way, Frederick Hayek talks a lot about this. Now, what does it all mean? Well, we all have a ranking, a ranking, a ranking in our heads. So like my number one right now is air. I love air, I love breathing, the goat, honestly. Now, number two would be like water. Now three, I'm not that hungry, so probably not food right now. Now try to think about your 20th. And what's your ranking gonna be now at 10 p.m.? Sleep's probably gonna be higher than right now. I don't really want to sleep right now. So imagine trying to do that with an entire population. It's impossible. So the, that brings me to the third point, and that was a really smooth transition because I didn't realize that I was going to the third one. And that is the ECP, the economic calculation problem. Now, let's talk about prices. What is prices? It's information, it's decentralized, it's everywhere, and nobody really knows what to do. And the price is what we value. So if the prices are too high, nobody's gonna buy. And then they're not gonna make any money. Now if the prices are too low, then you're gonna have a shortage and neither of those are good. So the, where does that get us? This theory is not very, it's not, um, it's not very well accepted, the economic theory, the ECP. It's still highly debated and it's not accepted in mainstream, economic, in mainstream economics, unlike the subjective theory of value, which is why I had to make this statement. Now, who Mises, now we talked a lot about Mises in this speech, and I want to talk about, just a little sum it up, who he was, where he's from, and how he developed those ideas. He was from Austria, became a professor at NYU. He got his ideas mainly from Karl Menger, and then he developed it into praxeology, which is the political and economic branch of that idea. Now, now that all of you know that, I want to ask you, what's the 20th on your list? So that's it.